I'm Junior Goring, and this is my wife, Sherry, and my son, Blake. Uh, we have a migratory sheep operation that operates in three states and, and covers about 250 miles. Conservation and, and uh, preserving our natural resources is, is something that's not new to, to our family. Uh, we've done this since, since I can remember. I can remember my father working on, on many water projects and seeding projects and uh, 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 brush control projects and things that uh, I didn't have real appreciation for as, as a young boy, but uh, as we've grown up, he, he explained it to me and, and uh, worked me into the business, and, and we, uh, he, he taught me the value of this. At a very young age, I can remember my grandfather and my father both always saying about leaving something better than we find it, whether it be, <laughs> whether we borrow something from somebody and return it in a better shape than we had borrowed it, or if we take a herd of sheep out and turn them loose on the mountain, when we leave, try to leave it better than we found it. I'm very proud of my husband and, and everyone on the ranch, their efforts. I have respect and honor for somebody that respects and loves nature, and I'm very proud of their efforts. And I've also been involved in a tree project in Deweyville, promoting conservation. Well, we're not gonna live to see those trees grow, and it's the same thing. We're not gonna live to see the trees get tall, but we make it better for the people that come after us. We, we have four different locations we spend our time, our spring, our fall, our summer, and our winter. And in all four locations, we, we've, uh, we've done a, a great deal of work, a great deal of conservation work. On our summer range, just this year alone, we've put in, uh, we've put in over five miles of pipe. Last year, we've put in 11 miles of pipe. Uh, two solar systems there uh, to, to pump that water. We've, we've developed springs, we've, we've uh, cleaned out and created in excess of 40 uh, impoundments, reservoirs, and uh, we've run pipelines uh, down to our trails and down to our, our areas of need. Uh, we've, had, we've got water in the summer range. Well, everywhere we go, we've got water where we never dreamed we could have water before. This is the solar pump on our lambing grounds in Whites Valley. Uh, it'll pump about five, four to five gallons a minute. Uh, we lift the water from 130 feet and we push it to the elevation of 300 feet. I'm just checking the water here that we sent up here with the solar pump. These storage tanks are full now and we'll shut them off so that they remain full during the winter. So when we come here in, in the middle of April, the first of May, we'll have water ready to go for the sheep. Uh, the greatest sage grouse population that we ever had in the state of Utah is when we had the most sheep. And as the sheep have declined, so has the sage grouse. What we've done here, uh, anywhere that we've sprayed the brush or that we've chained it or, or whatever, we've gone in and, and did it in 100 foot, 50 to 100 foot wide swaths so that we don't take all the brush out, we just take strips out. This is not only conducive to the, to the sage grouse and the, the upland birds and what have you, but also our sheep then have a, have a natural protective place to go when they, when they do drop their lambs. Working with the NRCS and the GIP programs and them guys uh, has really taught me a lot. And being able to work with them and, and having to show us and, and teaching me something that I can pass on has been very helpful. Uh, private landowners uh, have, a, have a, a great responsibility in this stewardship for the ground to, to take advantage of all those things that are available to us now. And, uh, you know, we can ill afford to be islands in this thing. We have to. We have to be out there working cooperatively with everybody that's, that's interested in, in the same goal. So if I can instill that into my sons, teach them how to work, teach them what the meaning of work is, teach them how to take care of the land, teach them how to, to be thankful for the, the things that we have and not to abuse them. And then if, if the, world, the worldly ways permit, Goring Ranch can keep going and keep expanding and, and keep doing what we've been doing what my father's done, what my grandfather's done, keep making it better, leaving it better like we've been taught, and learn how to work and be honest in everything we do, then I've won the battle. It doesn't matter how big or how little we are, but if, if, the, if the boys have learned how to do those things, then I've won the battle. That's what, that's what I want.